as you can see, we have a huge pile of stuff to go through, so I'm just going to jump right in. Basically, it's a lot of random stuff. I really wanted to do like people do with their really nice minimalism videos and, you know, have categories like this is my beauty stuff and this is my desk stuff, but it kind of just all happened and I did this over like two days. So I had a couple days where I had more free time, so I kind of just went for it. So it's very random, but I figured you guys would enjoy um, seeing kind of the progress that I've been making. So. The first stuff is from the closet and, um, and my dresser. So I have these couple of like, jewelry things and, you know, the, they, they serve a good function, but I literally have never used them. They're getting stuck to my sweater. <laughs> I will literally never use them. Like, the only time I could think to use them was probably if I went on vacation. But even that, they're, like, really huge. And I don't need that much jewelry on vacation, so those are going. Some other things, I have miscellaneous like sweaters and you know stuff to put over like this. I still do have a bunch of sweaters just because I'm into that. I really like that look the past couple years and you know to keep warm and everything so but I am getting rid of a bunch random clothes here. I figure it's just easier just to show you randomly um, rather than go through each and every one. In the closet includes purses. So I'm actually getting rid of one, two, three, four, five purses, which is pretty good for me. Um, you know, for me again, it's more like, okay, how much pr progress can we make today versus how much progress am I gonna make in a year? Because I still have a decent amount of purses. I'm not one of those people that will probably ever do the four purses uh, collection where you have basically one per season or one per event. I, I just can't do that, that's not enough for me. So, um, but I, I'm getting rid of these and I think the milestone one in this, well actually there's six, but I think the milestone one is this one. This was a sentimental bag for me, and I love dream and hope and all those kind of phrases, but um, this one was for the Make-A-Wish Foundation from like Claire's from, I don't know, at least 10 years ago. And so it's more sentimental than it is anything because I'm literally never going to use this again. So, um, you know, I've cleared out my purses a lot, and this is the first time that I'm like, that's it, I'm done with it. Yeah, it was nice, and it was for a good cause, but it's over. Next, we got bras. So basically the reason I'm getting rid of several bras is because I have this bad habit of hanging on to them past when they are bad. Um, and I do this because, oh, if I don't have um, a chance to do laundry, you know, when I need them, or if it's summer and I, you know, go through them faster, or whatever the case may be. And I also am fluctuating in sizes because I've been fluctuating in weight the past couple years. But it's just, it's gotten ridiculous. Like, these first couple bras, these were like my first Victoria's Secret bras, and they were like the the biggest deal. It was the biggest deal to get Victoria's Secret bras, and literally I have kept them because that's sentimental to me, and I'm over it. I'm so over it. Um, this one still fits me technically in the size, but it has stretched out and gotten so crappy for me, that I'm like, it doesn't fit right anymore, so there's no point. And then these from Target just don't even fit anymore regardless, so I'm like, you know what? Six bras, gone. And then I also have three sports bras that I just do not use because I have better quality ones now. So I'm also getting rid of lots of pants. I have a couple like black kind of professional looking pants and a bunch of jeans. So I have different jeans. I have like regular denim, colorful, and black jeans. And basically my jean drawer was bursting because again, I've been fluctuating. So I have some smaller sizes and I have some bigger sizes. And all of the bigger sizes that I have right now are kind of baggy on me and I don't really like the look of it. The smaller sizes, I have to start to be more realistic and say, you know what? I may fit in these a year from now, but what is the point in keeping them right now? Because it's literally just bringing me down. It is making me sad to remember that I used to fit in these and I don't right now. So I figure let's get rid of them and I can always go to the thrift store or something and repurchase them when I want to get you know, new to me clothing. I am very much, you know, I don't have to get $50 pairs of jeans um, to be happy. So. I'm okay with repurchasing every now and then, but I'm also going to do, you know, get like two pairs of jeans at once that are the size that I am currently because 
you know, I'm finding out that it's ridiculous to have eight pairs of jeans in one size and then six months from now they're just too tight or they're just too loose. So getting rid of those, finally over it, you know, and it really, it's always been hard for me because I liked the jeans themselves and I just wish that they still fit on me, but I'm starting to get over that. So all of those clothing items I'm going to be donating. I'm very much pro-donate, get it to someone else who can use it, who needs it, who will love it better than you. Um, but these three items I'm going to try selling. So I have a Vera Bradley purse and I have these couple coach purses. And let me tell you about these coach purses. I have held on to these for so long. These were my very first coach purses. I remember when I got them still, you know, it's still very much the sentimental aspect because I got them when I had a tooth surgery and it came in the mail and I remember it being in the car when I got out of the surgery and it like made everything better. I was like, you know, hyped up on uh, some kind of anesthesia and it was, it was bad, but the, these were like made it better. And you know, that's how I remember these and I do still like the look of them. I like the classic C's and I like the little springy design, but I use these maybe once a year, maybe when I'm, you know, I need a bag small enough for like a concert or something just for the essentials and I don't want a wristlet. But to me, that's not worth it. It's not worth hanging on to them for that anymore. You know, I have some wristlets. I have some other purses that I use for that concept more often than I do these. So I'm going to try selling these because they are real coach and I think maybe I could get a little bit of money from them. So, you know, I am definitely doing the trash donate sell thing. So moving on from clothes, I'm actually going to show you like I this is a trash bag that I didn't actually throw out yet. So and I say that because I have like different makeup items. So this actually is a lot of the stuff I went through from my professional kits and my back stock. So as a lot of you guys know, I am a professional makeup artist and I do have an actual professional freelance kit aside from my personal collection. So I had all these things that you know, I had used a couple years ago and they, they were fine for me then, but I have majorly upgraded my kit this year. I have majorly upgraded my skill. Everything has gotten better this year when it comes to my professional aspect. So um, I was like, you know what, I'm keeping these around for what? For just in case I need them, you know? So uh, different lip glosses, lip liners, concealers eyeliners, all that kind of stuff I'm just getting rid of. I completely actually got rid of the top section in my professional kit that held all of the eyeliners because I do not need that many. Realistically, I go for the gel pot liners that I have more than anything else. So I just kept a few basic pencil liners like, you know, brown, black, red, things like that. And they're in now a drawer in my kit instead of having to be in that whole little thing in my kit taking up useless space so it's kind of cool to see this start to take over different areas of my life because you know not for nothing the lighter that kit can be the better because it is heavy on its own and then when you put everything in it it just gets heavier and the simpler it can be the easier it is to set up and break down when I'm working too so it's really cool to see that come to life stuff like this I had like this little um, NYX eyeshadow thing and I thought it was so cool to be able to make like put little brushes in here and make it like I don't know a little do-it-yourself brush thing but realistically I never use it so is it convenient and could it work for someone yes does it work for me and do I need it no so I'm getting rid of it another thing I'm getting rid of this I'll actually donate I don't know why this was in the trash bag actually is this so this is Home Organizing and Closet Makeovers, a Sunset Design Guide. So um, I had gotten this at Dollar Tree, oh god, I don't know how many years ago. Uh, probably at least four years ago. And I got it because it was a $20 book and it was only a dollar and it does. It has really quality stuff in here. There's, you know, I love organizing and I love home decor and I thought it was really interesting. But even now... I'm not using it because guess what, there's this magical little thing called Pinterest. Anything that is in here can easily be found online in different ways. So this is useless to just have hanging around the house, so I'm getting rid of it, but I'm going to put that in the donate pile. Something else that I didn't want to get rid of but I'm going to is this TD Bank um, little seed packet because realistically I know that I'm probably not going to ever plant these and I know that someone else 
could benefit from it. Someone who really actually likes planting and gardening would really love these. I got it for free when they had the Penny Arcade thing going on still and you know you counted the coins and all that and you guessed right and I thought it was cool but I never used them so someone else can easily benefit from these. So kind of still on the beauty subject are nail polishes. I brought, I got rid of about half my nail polish collection before moving and I currently just got rid of half of it again. So I find it really cool to kind of see the progress that if I keep getting rid of stuff by half, it's going down pretty quickly. So, but it's still at the pace that I need. So I mean, I don't even know how many nail polishes are in here. All right, there's about 20 nail polishes in this bag. Just take my word for it because they're kind of a mess. But I have stuff in here like, okay, the Sephora by OPI. So I got this because Eileen really liked the color. And um, I want to try it out for a good like work color. And it is. It's a really nice one. But it's it's gotten old enough where it's so watered down, it doesn't even last when it's on my nails. And I don't use it. And, you know, that's happened to a lot of these nail polishes. Either they've gotten old enough where they don't work right, and it's like, what's the point of even painting my nails? Or like, for example, this one is like a sentimental one. This one was sent to me by a subscriber, along with another one, years ago, like six years ago probably. And I thought it was just so special that I hang on to them. And although I still think they're special, I don't think I should hang on to them anymore. Because I'm never going to use them and, you know, I don't really want them sitting there as decor. So... A lot of the nail polishes I'm getting rid of are pretty much old or they have served their purpose. And nail polish is the one area that I plan to still dwindle down because I essentially, I want to get rid of all my old nail polishes and I want to convert to basically all gels because drugstores and stuff are coming out with great gels. I have on right now the Revlon Color Stay Gel uh, Polish and it is so much better than any of my traditional nail polish formulas. And then I saw, you know, Essie has one out now. They all are coming out, even Wet n Wild, have, they have gel polish formulas that I know are going to be better than traditional, so why am I even keeping traditional anymore, especially if they're too old and they're not going to perform right, so I'm just going to get rid of them completely eventually, and then only have maybe, I don't know, my goal is maybe like five nail polishes at a time, because I'm like, that kind of gives me enough variety where if I want a bright color or a nude, you know, I have that variety, but it's not overwhelming where realistically, I never use them.